Whoa. How long have you been sitting there? <laughs> <laughs> Not very long. <laughs> oh. Maybe, okay, I'm maybe, ready. Maybe a, a month or so. <laughs> I think we'll start the show. <laughs> Do you want to know how to save 50 hours a year? Yes, I do. Let's talk about it. <laughs> hey there, cool teachers. Look, it's us. We're back here in the cool teacher lounge. Yes, where we lounge most of the time. There are slippers. There are house coats. Think Mr. Rogers, only more relaxed. Um, okay. Many of you don't know this, but Barbara has a big pair of sweatpants that she wears uh, here <laughs> hey, in the Cool Teacher Lounge. Hey, they're not that big. They're big. <laughs> anyway, welcome. We want to talk about uh, passwords and protecting your passwords. And before you fall asleep completely, know that it's really important with the more accounts that you being a tech savvy teacher are opening, you got to get control of this business. And don't just give me the the password that you've been using for years and years and years right. approach because we know that doesn't yeah. work. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I know. And sometimes you're forced to change passwords. Absolutely. Like you people at Boise State, yep. every 90 days or whatever, you yep. have to change your password. Every, yes. And it can't be the same one that you've no, used No, you before. just have to add another number to the end of it. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah that's right. Uh, you're also going to want to be able to teach your students this critical piece of cyber citizenship uh, moving forward. So, Barbara, yes. what is the safest place to store your passwords? Um, on a text file on your computer. No, 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 no. Don't, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Because somebody could steal your computer totally. and they'd have your, your, the safest place, especially for lazy people, and I don't know of any lazy people right. around here in this room, um, is on a piece of paper, actually. Writing really? them down on a piece of paper and putting them in a drawer or something is actually the safest place. Think about it. Yes. I mean, you know, who's going to well, maybe somebody will break in your house, but they won't. Probably that won't happen. But that's the lazy person method. But it is the lazy person there's method. There's the Barbara method, which of course is far superior to any method in the world. She puts it in her mind vault. Yeah, <laughs> and I just I just have to tweak it out. There. No, there's a really cool program I found. It's called. Okay. Dash Lane. Dash Lane. And yep. it has a really cute little blue Impala for their logo. Do you know what an Impala is? I do. It's a very fast animal, like yeah. a gazelle. Or a car. O or a car. Yeah, or a Chevy. Okay. Yeah. Anyhow, it's called Dash Lane. Dashlane.com. Okay. Pretty simple. You load it, download it on your computer, and then you start. Oh, and then you also add the extension, the browser extension. I use Chrome. And then as you go to your sites that are password protected, Dashlane will recognize the password and add it to their vault. Now you'll have to create a, a Dashlane account. And right. if you lose your password to that account, forget it. You'll never be able to retrieve it. <laughs> right. You have to know Gone what forever. that password is. Gone forever. So it's a pretty cool thing. And they have a Tattoo mobile it. app. Yeah, they do. They have a mobile app, too. So that will sync to all of your mm -hmm. accounts. So it's really pretty cool. So when you're forced to change a password, like at Boise State, it'll come up with a very complex password automatically for you. It'll store it in your Dashlane yep. vault if you ever needed to look at it. Mm -hmm. And just think about all the different passwords you have. Oh, my I mean, goodness. Netflix, uh, your credit cards, your bank. Your it's, like, it's like a keychain for all of your passwords. Right. Now, you are giving control over to someone else to store it. So uh, your first idea of making sure that you have a little, even a little notebook to write those down in, um, but you don't want to enter your randomized ones each time. Now, Dashlane also has a feature where it will create for you a completely randomized password. Yeah, and that's so cool for that's a, a really site. So, you say for example, you open a, a Kahoot account. Kahoot, great tool. You probably use it, teachers, and you you just want to create a password for it and not use the same one that you've been using for years and years and years. And you know, I'm talking to you, right? You know. or having to ask because you forget what it exactly. is. Exactly. Then you have it sent or to your Or is email. it my primary password? Or is it my primary password with the added digits? Or is it my primary password with the one capitalized and the number? 
number on the end, you know what yeah, I'm talking about. I know. Or I've is it there. the second password that I use? <laughs> the second password with the numbers on the end. The second password with the capitalization. Yeah. And the, okay, okay. You know. No, don't do that. Don't do that. So I like it. Absolutely. So you've used it too then. I've used it. And there are actually a number of really good different tools that are good for keychains. I'm just going to give you a couple of them right now. Okay. PC Magazine gives us a list of them. One of them is Dashlane, right. which is on the fourth version right now. Wow. Which is a $39 investment. Right. Now, I use the free one. There you is use the a free, free one. one, but mm -hmm. I don't know what the upgrade is, but you get more features. All right. You get a ton a ton more features with the pay, uh, the paid uh, multiple Which form identities. really isn't identities. that expensive, considering right. that's per year. Um, and Dashlane also will do, uh, will do form uh, populations. So, say, for example, yeah. you're on the same computer, and you want for your spouse to be able, or a child to be able to auto-populate uh -huh. all of these details, it'll save those for you. You can and share you your passwords mm -hmm. with your spouse, too. You can share mm -hmm. your Dashlane account with your spouse, yep. and that's a really cool thing. So, here on the screen, okay. thank you, Joanna, for putting these on the screen right down here, are some other ones that you can consider. Dashlane, we mentioned. Right. Zoho Vault. See, I've not heard of that, and I'm yep, familiar with is. Zoho. Sticky Password. These are all web-based, browser-based. RoboForm Anywhere, right? Um, there's a desktop uh, version of, of same. LastPass, and a friend of mine uses that, loves it. A little bit more expensive for the super premium version. Okay. Um, Keeper Password, right? Uh, and uh, Log Me Once password. I like that. And true key. I like now, that sound. in the description down below, you've got a link to the PC Magazine breakdown of all of these. I think that you're going to love it. But the important thing is you've been meaning to get this under control. Spend an hour. That's all it takes, really. It put it take in there and, and your life will be oh, a lot easier. I love it. I go to the sites. I see the little in the the login area, you'll see the little yep. blue Impala for their logo. You know that Dashlane recognizes it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you don't even have the to car? click log me in. <laughs> It'll automatically yeah. just log you in. Yeah. So it's 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 a huge time saver. Huge. As the kids would say, it's legit. Yeah. So or it's the bomb. There it was the bell. These classes get shorter and shorter. But thank you for joining us. We have missed you. You have missed us. I know. So we will keep the cool coming your way yeah. uh, with stuff like Where this. Where are those dang sweatpants? Yeah. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Bye.